Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my January favourite stroke December 2017 favourites as well because as you guys know when the end of the year came I did my roundup of the year and I didn't do a December favourites. So that's why I hope you don't mind that this video is going to be a little bit longer than it normally is purely because there are so many things that I was enjoying over uh, the holidays and whatnot and then into January that I just wanted to add kind of all of them all together so I've kind of grouped them together to show them to you so that it makes it a little bit less confusing so first off foundation so from December in particular you may be surprised to see because I didn't give this foundation the best review I didn't give it the worst one but it wasn't the best and that's the Huda Beauty faux filter foundation my shade is in baklava if you saw my review I used the shade Dolce de Leche and that was as I mentioned in the video a little bit too light for me this is 340g and I think that was 350g and it was lighter but this shade is darker so whatever anyway so this is a perfect match for me and the reason why I've decided that I've kind of like it a little bit more than I did is because I've kind of become friends with it a little bit um, I make sure to moisturize my skin even more than I normally do and apply the foundation a lot quicker and then it blends into the moisturizer and glides onto the skin a lot better as well and I also found that using a lot less than I was doing to begin with made it look a lot nicer on the skin so I was really loving this throughout the month of December in particular another foundation which I've been consistently kind of loving but I loved a little bit more recently uh, since I bought it is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and the shade that I'm showing it to you is in 300 if you guys saw my review and demo I showed three shades in it but I, for some reason, this is the one that I tend to prefer the most. It's actually what I'm wearing on my face right now. I love this foundation. It's like a semi-matte sort of foundation. It wears well on the skin. Even right now, as I'm on YouTube, I've had it on for about, I'd say about six hours. And I still think it looks pretty good. I put eye drops in my eyes, so I'm a bit blinky. So I apologise if I seem a bit like, what's wrong with the eyes? And um, yeah, I've eaten food, I've rubbed my face and whatnot, and it still looks lovely and fresh. So I love this foundation. It's one of my all-time favourites. Another one which I have been loving or rediscovered more so is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'm sure you guys who saw my vlog with Selena Miss Beauty Addict when we went out for her birthday that I did a repurchase of this. This is the empty one now. My shade is in Cashew. And um, the reason which I wear, the reason why I tend to wear it um, I go through kind of phases it depends on what the situation is at the time the thing is that um, I wasn't feeling too well recently and I got quite a bad cold and I'm always blowing my nose because I have allergies and I was also wearing a coat which was always quite up high near my neck and because this is a non-transferable foundation when you're blowing your nose and whatnot it doesn't come off so this is why I have been loving this one so much. I mean, this one is a firm favourite in my collection, but I just wanted to show it as something that I was kind of reusing again. Out of all the foundations I'm going to show you, this is probably my favourite, and it's actually still in this box for some weird reason. And it is not a, found, a new foundation by any means. It's the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Foundation. My shade is in a medium tan. Oh my god, this foundation is amazing. I don't know why I had never tried it before. I mean, it's not new, like I said, and I actually bought it in the summer, and even still, makeup addict over here, I kind of left it on the side and didn't touch it until December, and then I was like, oh wow. I mean, when it comes to dewy foundations, I'm not a big fan because there's a very fine line between dewy and shiny, and I unfortunately start to drift off quite quickly into the shiny part of it. I also find dewy foundations don't always have that kind of coverage that I want as well. They always seem to be quite sheer, and they don't give me that full coverage effect that I like this foundation oh my god it gives me amazing coverage it makes me look dewy but not shiny and it wears well throughout the day it's i love this foundation i'm so 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 happy that i bought this another foundation that you guys saw me buy in that vlog video was the vanish hourglass foundation and the shade i've got mine is in golden tan um if you've seen my review i did i think was of tan maybe which was the shade lighter and it was a little bit too light for me so i went back and bought this it's a full coverage stick foundation it's not cheap it's 40 two pounds but it is an excellent excellent uh, full coverage um very thick sort of foundation but it it's one of those foundations where you apply it to your skin and it dries down to like a powdery sort of finish it's not liquidy at all because it is a stick but if you are ever feeling a little bit fruity you want to treat yourself to something unnecessarily expensive and luxurious definitely look into this because you will love it 
And then the last of the foundations is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. My shade is in Barcelona. Now, I have probably used about a quarter of it. I've been buying, wearing it quite a lot since I bought it. It gives a very nice natural sort of finish to the skin. And because I'm at my playlist still at the moment, the shade Barcelona works well with me as a winter foundation. But then when we start to get into the more warmer months, I mean, it is a beautiful sunny day today in London, but it is really cold. And um, so my skin's still quite pale. But eventually I'll probably try the uh, deeper shade, which is Valencia. But until then, I'm just happy to continue using this. Now, um, concealers, because I'm just showing them to you in groups of products to make it easier. Two types of concealers I've been loving, or two brands even, and that is the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. My new Holy Grail concealer, I love it. I've done a review and demo of it, and I cannot rave about these enough. They give full coverage. They do not dry under my eyes. They do not crease under my eyes, and they give amazing coverage, which I don't get from other concealers of mine. And then other concealers I've been loving is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. My shade is in C10 and C8, and in Urban Decay, it's a medium dark, warm, and medium neutral. Medium dark, warm is the exact color of my skin and medium neutral is what I use to highlight. Same with these two, C10 is the exact color of my skin and C8 is a little bit lighter so I use it to highlight. It's what I'm actually using today. I find these to be a pretty good concealer. They're cheap, they're only four pounds. These are like 20 something pounds. However, you do not get the same coverage uh, with these as you do with these, but these are definitely an affordable concealer for those of you that are beauty on a budget and you don't want to have to spend so much money on concealer. It's not necessary. These still do a pretty good job. If you've got very, very, very dark circles, I would suggest using a color corrector then using these. And if you don't have such bad dark circles, you will find that these color that these cover your imperfections quite well and so I am very happy with the both of these and I have a review and demo of both of them as well. This uh, banana powder which I bought recently is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Powder in the shade Banana. I've used a, probably say about a quarter of it. I use it every single day. I use it to set my under eye concealer and the high points of my face and I genuinely have been really really happy with this. It only costs a few pounds. Um, it doesn't dry out my skin or anything like that and I've genuinely been really really happy with this I really don't like spending loads of loads of money on certain products compared to others I know that's really weird but you know there's that cheapskate in all of us that is happy to spend 50 pounds on an eyeshadow palette but you don't want to spend more than a fiver on a mascara I've never understood that mentality but I sit within that group as well so powders is one of those things that I refuse to have to spend loads of money on so for a couple of pounds very very happy because it's excellent quality moving on to blushes two of the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush trios I showed them in my Black Friday haul this shade here is oh sorry this set even is called cocktail party gorgeous heavily pigmented amazing quality and beautiful shades and then this one here which is called pool party which i also got 50 percent off in the black friday sales anastasia beverly hills black friday sales are always really really good so when it comes to that time of year make sure you check them out so you know what deals they've got going on but again amazing quality i'm actually using this today as well not gonna lie i just didn't bring it with me into my filming area the other blush trios as well all of them i use them all the time if you follow me on instagram i'll link it here where i post all my makeup looks you'll see this makeup look on there as well every single detail i break down so you guys can recreate it or use it for inspiration if you want you will see that i use my anastasia beverly hills blush trios probably more than any other blushes out there i just find them really convenient because there's three shades in one and because the quality is so good as well I tend to go for these more than any other blushes. Another two blushes which I've been loving, which I think I've mentioned to you guys before, it's been so long since I've done a favourites, I can't even remember, but they are still favourites now, as these Colourpop powder blushes. This is in Tulip to Quit, and this is in Glass Slipper. This is like the perfect everyday shade for me to wear, and then this is one when I'm going for more plummy, pinky sort of looks, and it's a little bit more vibrant. These are so beautifully pigmented. All their powder blushes are amazing. I've got quite a few and these are definitely a 10 out of 10. Okay, I'm gonna show you some highlighters now. A lot of these I got more towards, I'd probably say January than December. This first one here is the Kat Von D Metal Chrome.
crush highlighter palette as you can see it looks really dirty it's been very used it's a very full-on intense a glitter highlighter palette it's full of glitter the glitter gets all over your face and whatever but it's very very pigmented very true to color all these shades show up true to the way that you see them on the pan and I absolutely love 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 this yes it does emphasize pores it does emphasize texture so it's down to personal preference whether or not you like that kind of stuff I personally don't mind but I absolutely love this the Jeffree Star 24 Karat uh, Pro Skin Frost Palette absolutely love I'm using this shade here today King Tut is what I'm wearing to highlight my cheekbones and other points of my face I love this palette I've given it pretty good marks I've, I've shown it um, I've done a review and shown swatches of this but I've genuinely been using this quite a lot over the past two months so I'm very very happy with it it's very good quality I think it's a lot better than some of his more recent skin frosts as well the shades are quite buttery but they're very intense and pigmented and then the last highlight I'm going to show you is by NYX Cosmetics it's called a born to glow well that's the name of their range and this shade is actually called break the rhythm it's a really nice kind of champagne -y sort of uh shade it's one of those ones which will go well with all skin tones really good affordable highlighter very good quality as well so i'm very happy with this just going to show you a couple of lipsticks now these should not be a surprise because i went and then bought them in full sizes the Stila shimmer stay all day liquid lipsticks the shades beso and patina shimmer they're both almost finished i got these in one of the christmas um holiday sets in december and i've used it literally throughout the year i used beso shimmer i used it to go to my office christmas party and i've used it at various other times as well patina shimmer i've definitely used it on a tutorial on here and i've told you guys so many times how much i love it and then they released their full size versions and other ones of which i've done a review along with lip swatches is the shade lumi shimmer miel shimmer and nudo shimmer they're all absolutely amazing beautiful soft shimmery shades some more intense than others like obviously lumi shimmer but very 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 good quality another three liquid lipsticks and these are from the colourpop holiday collections are the shades uh light what is it lightweight fragile things and take a pixie they're all amazing amazing shades i love them all i know they all look kind of similar but they're not trust me I absolutely love them I think they're gorgeous worth looking into especially while they're still available before they become um, you know because they were for the holidays I mean another one is the Fenty Beauty Stunner lip paint in the shade Uncensored I've actually used this a lot more than I thought I would and I definitely used it a lot more over the holiday season because it's that classic Christmas red and I genuinely actually really like it. I just wish the brush was a little bit different. The brush makes it a lot more difficult to apply. But overall, I really like the colour of it. It does come off slightly a lot more than other liquid lipsticks. So it is definitely transferable. But if you don't mind that so much, you will like the shade of it. And one of the newly releasing NYX soft matte metallic lip creams this one in particular the shade copenhagen is definitely my favorite out of all of them now i do like the other ones as well but i would say out of all of them this is the one that i've probably used the most these come out towards the end of february moving on to eyeshadow palettes now this is a color pops eyeshadow palette called i think i love you i have used this to death this is one of my favorite releases of theirs well actually considering there aren't any other ones here out of all the color pop eyeshadow palettes that they've come out with over the past six months this one is my favorite out of all of them it's golden it's warm towns uh, warm tones it's neutrals it's mattes it shimmers it's everything that everybody kind of gravitates towards on a daily sort of basis as well as they're going out that yellow gold is just like oh my god it's so gorgeous and i used this quite a lot over the holidays and throughout december because it was those classic golden sort of shades and i threw on a bit of glitter and that was it the huda beauty desert dusk eyeshadow palette i've been loving this as well again more so in december i used this i used a lot of the glitter quite a lot and the shimmery shades because i did go out a lot if you follow me on snapchat obviously you came out with me loads and loads of times all the things and places i went to over the holidays and you guys would know that i have used this so 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 much this was one of my favorite palettes for 2017 and it has now become one of my favorites towards 2018 as well the Too faced clover palette i've used it so many times it's a fun 
colorful eyeshadow palette palette the quality of the eyeshadows are also pretty good it is limited edition and i bought mine from the Too faced store in carnaby street it is only available directly through Too faced and as i recall clover is one of the owner's pet chihuahua and as a result of this palette they have said that two hundred and fifty thousand dollars of the proceeds from this palette will go towards an animal charity which is one of the main reasons i actually did buy this as well as the fact that i like the eyeshadows but i do like it when there are charitable causes um, attached to makeup the kat von d shade and light glimmer eyeshadow palette i have been using this quite a bit over the past few weeks i actually bought it a few months ago and forgot typical me but i really like this palette the quality of the eyeshadows is typical of kat von d excellent quality shimmery shades the bottom rows are have got more glittery shades and then a couple of satin shades at the top but overall it's a really really good quality palette now the next two palettes i'm going to show you in all honesty i have used more than any other eyeshadow palette and to this day i'm actually using one of them right now and um the first one is the Too faced chocolate gold eyeshadow palette this palette is absolutely excellent i cannot rave about it enough not a single bad shade in here well maybe one or two here or there today i'm actually using the shade famous that's what i'm using all over my lid and then i'm using coco truffle and so bougie as well and it's just your average like your go-to palette your going out palette it's got so many looks in it that it's just like, you know, you've got to have it. It's one of those palettes. And then the piece de resistance. The Violet Voss hashtag palette. Ugh, I love it so much. You guys saw my review. I gave it a 10 out of 10. I use this, again, alongside the chocolate gold palette. But to be fair, there was like a month in between me buying them. And I used that one quite a lot in December and into January. But then this one I bought about two, three weeks ago. And I've not been able to put it down. There is not a single shadow in here which is of bad quality. Every single shadow is absolutely amazing. The shades are gorgeous. I've done a tutorial for you guys with it as well. And I think the palette is absolutely excellent, excellent quality. If there's any product out of all of these that I've shown you that I could rec recommend, it would be this one. Right now, being very honest with you guys before I show you the rest of this stuff, because you're going to be like, that's a lot. Um, yes, I kind of did this thing in December where I was like, right, I'm going to wear glitter like every day and it's kind of not stopped because first i was like i want to be all festive because i like holidays and i like the holiday season and i like everything about it like christmas and lights and glitter and fun and all that stuff um anyway so i kind of challenged myself to wear glitter every day and i did it let's say 95 percent of the time so i've got a lot of glitter to show you but then it kind of traveled into january and then into february as well so i seem to be on some sort of weird glitter kick at the moment i don't know if it's just me or it's also just because all the brands are coming out with similar kind of products at the same time please let me know below if it's not just me because i, I don't want to be alone in this um so i'm going to show you a bunch of glitter eyeshadows which i've been loving loads so the first ones are the ColourPop the supernova eye eyeshadows these are the first five that were ever released and i did do a review of these along with swatches and i have got some of the other ones but they're sitting at my more box which is a forwarding company i use to ship over american makeup to me in the uk at a more affordable rate uh, sometimes avoiding customs charges or at least having reduced ones look at my video below um yeah so the other ones are still there i've not got them yet um but these ones here which are firecracker dragon walk of fame hard to impress and moonlit i've used all of these quite a lot and i think they're absolutely stunning look at how pretty those colors are man so i cannot recommend these highly enough they're absolutely gorgeous and they're only what seven dollars eight six seven dollars under ten more liquid glitter eyeshadows i've been loving are the lime crime diamond dews and in particular the shades that i have loved is chameleon starlight and rose goals again excellent quality i love the shades i've used them a lot follow me on instagram where you can see all my makeup looks that i did throughout the holidays so you can see the kind of looks to create maybe get a bit of inspo that sort of thing but these three out of the ones that i got are great now it would not be normal if i didn't obviously mention stila <sighs> okay so i have bought quite a lot of stila um glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows over the past couple of weeks and obviously because i didn't do a favorites video i didn't get to show them to you 
So, first one, Bronzed Bell. This is not a new one. This is one of their first ever releases. But I use this quite a lot. I use this on New Year's Eve. I use this to my work Christmas party when I actually wore the... Um, what was I talking to you about? The Besso Shimmer by Stila. I actually wore these together. Gold and a red, of course. And this is one of those shades where I think everybody should have. If you're kind of umming and eyeing, because these aren't cheap, they're like £24. If you're trying to decide which one to get for your first one, I would definitely suggest a Bronzed Bell. This one is the most universally beautiful one out of all of them. This one here is called Wonderlust. It's one of their newer ones, which just came out recently. It's a duochrome goldy, pinky mixture. Of, I love it. Love it. It's gorgeous. And then their duochrome ones, which came out in the US a while ago, but only recently came out in the UK. The shade Sea Siren, Into the Blue and Sunset Cove. All three of them excellent quality, gorgeous. I used one of these in my Valentine's makeup tutorial, so you guys have seen it in action as well. But I love these. And then the last one from Stila is actually one of their shimmer and glows. And it's this shade here called Freedom, which is like an aqua greeny sort of color. Gorgeous limited edition, one for the spring summer kind of collections. It's gorgeous, definitely look into it. And on my lips today, I'm actually wearing Candy Cane from Too Faced. It was one of their older holiday collection liquid lipsticks. And yes, I know I look all Valentine's-y. Well, it's Valentine's weekend while I'm filming this and I thought I'd be festive. I just like all kinds of festive sort of nonsense things because it's just a little bit of fun at the end of the day. So that's it, so I hope you guys are great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, make sure you subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are of any of these products. Did you get any? Are you thinking about getting them? And that's it really, so I will see you all in the next video. Bye!